comment. And none. Discuss the approved contract for the lot. We've kind of gone over all this, I think, pretty much as far as the core budget contract and why we're doing the switch and all that. So Michael Paul has been working with John Rowe, who's the representative from CoreLogic, and they have finally beaten us out to a contract that's acceptable to him. And he said it's not going to, it's not putting the county to any kind of risk or anything else, and then it works out. Uh, so I'm just here to kind of present that, and I think y'all have copies of it. So, any questions on it or something I can ask on it? This is the contract that clears up what was going on over there we were having. By the, the other company just is going to just, Michael's, as soon as we get this rolling, Michael will send them the letter that we're reading them. And we're reading so we're not gonna have a lapse in period then? No, we're, we're trying to make it. We've been kind of concerned about that because they've been notorious for when you tell them, yeah, we're done, that they will promptly go, okay, you're shut off. We're trying to avoid that. We have a backup in place. We have we picked up a lot of uh, paper citations. We've got paper reports ready. So if we would end up into a, anywhere from 15 to 45 day place where they can take us off the system, we've got it set up so we able to continue with our business. So all, all the logistics and what we've tried to put out and kind of get in line so it works together. Can I ask a question about the, the amount and then like what's the difference? So that I just know budget wise, doing the new budget and what we're gonna have left next year. Do you have old numbers? I have the old numbers I do not. <coughs> Y'all just need to let me know when you switch it so I can switch it. So basically, according to this, it's going to be 35, 35, 190 is going to be the reoccurring, right? Yeah. Right. The 54, 270 is just because of the setup fees with it this year, right? It, setup fees were also going on a day to day pay for it until our budget starts and then they're going to start it it'll actually start with our budget with the budget year yeah. so we don't have something sitting in the middle of it it wasn't the other one 60 something thousand on the old one a year i i think i just have to look with what i've seen last time i think it was that was 60 or 62 so. that was reoccurring or <laughs> this is gonna be 35 190 reoccurring I, I guess Michael would just get you out of this contract and we won't have you and we'll keep ding going for bills and stuff. Because we hit, did this before with CoreLogic, so I'm not concerned. We've already yeah. done this and, before. And Cor, just for the record, CoreLogic, when we dealt with them here before, I guess CoreLogic had just taken over. We were using CopSync. CopSync went bankrupt. Uh, pretty much kind of failed on everybody all over the place. And then when CoreLogic, bought those, CoreLogic was in the process of buying them when we left uh, CopSync, uh, and right now they've got the, probably the best product out there. But y'all aren't gonna have this in your budget right now to do that, right? It, the money, um, this would be an extra expense that wasn't preset in the budget, right? So yeah. what I'm saying with that is, as far as like this money coming out, we really have to probably use that as emergency funding. They're not going to have the actual funding unless this stops with the payment. The and way. we do have it set up currently with CoLogic. They're going to prorate us this first portion mm -hmm. for what we have now until uh, October, I believe it is. So the the reoccurring thirty thousand is not going to be quite the thirty thousand for upfront. They're going to prorate us, which uh, as of first of May was 
18,000. We've also worked with Jan. Um, she's also given us a 10% discount on our prorated rates that we have now, as well as our upfront costs and everything that we will have in October. So she has given us an additional 10% off of that upfront. Um, the rate comes out to roughly $107 and some change per day. And that's how we will figure out our prorated costs. Well, no, I, and I, I get the, the big thing I was wondering because we do have to pay on the other one on the attorney. They're probably not going to be willing to come back in. So you're not going to have it within budget right now. So as far as the funds to pay for this would have to come out of emergency funding. Yeah, unless they've got something. Unless y'all got a reserve somewhere. Reserve somewhere. Or, so that's what really I would be asking y'all. Well, is there y'all are expecting funding coming from somewhere else or do y'all have something within budget to cover this? We might have something within budget, but that's something I would want to talk to, to Becky about and make sure that, because I'm not, I'm not familiar enough with the budget on how we can move things around. The only thing is, guys, this is over 50000 Well, our, our prorated would be, um, I want to say, right around 16000 or a little cheaper for our upfront cost. The 50000 would be probably probably where we would need to help to get it up and running. And where the judge is going with the 50000 with it being over 50000 it's got to be out for bid. It's got to have bids on it. It's yeah. not being opposed to what we're doing, right, right, right. but because of the amount, legally we can't do anything on it because it's at the 50,000 plus, it's got to go to bid on it. Okay. So do we have to do formal bids again then on top of bids we've already gotten? Yeah, because we had, we had a if bid we had three, in. It's got to be, what, three bids? It's got to be. Yeah, three. we had a bid from, um, uh, what was that other company? Company Yeah, I'm trying to remember the name. And that's what we talked about. You know, when we met prior, because of the amount, it's got to be right. We, we we reached out to three separate companies. Um, we had Coxie CoLogic, and I can't remember Odyssey. Odyssey. Uh, so you placed a bid, and you then did bids? yes, sir. And we also reached out to Microsoft um, for their CAD system, and oh, we never oh, we never got any returns or any information from them. So it was basically a refusal to bid on theirs. Can you can you get? Provide the court copy of that so we can put it in the record that we did have. Yes. yes. If you got three bids, bro, we're, we're yes. good. Anything yeah. over 50, anything okay. we have to bid out. And okay. so as far as Microsoft being a refusal to bid, Motorola. or Motorola, I'm sorry, Motorola's refusal to bid, um, we don't have any official paperwork from them, so we just wrote a memorandum through our internal or internal memorandum through our office. Well, that suffices the bid. That's okay. As long as yeah. you can send it out there. Okay. Well, I just okay. reached out and they that, gave you okay. That's what we were trying to clarify. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. We had yes. Out there. yes, sir. There could be some money in their electric bill, yes. possibly. So, let me ask this. <clears throat> Can we, could we vote this in to do this? But as far as the funding, hash out the funding for it at court this coming month, where the money's gonna come from to do it? Because we'd have to go through the budget to see what's there to know where all the money's going Yeah, we're making on the electricity there. We kind of, we had 60, I think, we don't have numbers to answer that. I don't think so. We budgeted more because we didn't know for sure how high it So there's probably, I'm gonna guess, what, 20 there? Or can we set it up? take it out of emergency funding now. And if there is some there, we just don't use all of it out of emergency funding. And just yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, I, I would prefer we just take it out like right now out of the budget they have. And then when we get down to we the end amend, of the year, we can we amend it. Amend it to, to where the remainder to come out of emergency funding. Yeah. You're going to be able to get any back. You pay that, do they pay other companies? Yeah. Well, the, the other thing, when I talked to Michael Hall, um, you know, we'll, we'll, I will certainly not be paying them any more money. So the money that would have normally been paying our bill to to uh, Justice Solutions will have to put into this and transfer it over. Yeah, right. And Michael is then going to look at them about getting some form of uh, repayment back 
is we haven't had service and then when we added everything else in, that happened into it, it made it so <coughs> they're probably time and money ahead to take care of us and get us out of their hat. Do we pay that monthly? Yeah. Do we pay that monthly? Yeah. I mean, so you ain't got to worry about a big chunk of money. No, I okay. think we can, I think I can find it until and we get to the end of the year and then we can invest. It's a year in and if there's a little less, then we can go into money. Because really, they're re in brief contract. You're, the one you've got now. So basically, we don't have nobody, so we need somebody. So, I'll make a motion that we approve it and the funding be used out of theirs on what they can pay and whatever is left over that can't be taken out of their budget be pulled from emergency funding. Right. I'll second that motion. I'll vote. Yeah. You give me those copies. Yes, sir. I'm going to discuss the approved non exempt license plate for the Tahoe purchase. And, and this, this week, this is recurrent. Uh, what we're trying to do is with our administrative vehicles, we're trying to keep them. We're not putting any kind of lining or striping or anything else. First, kind of save money, and second, so we can get administrators in and out of the areas that we have to get in and out of. We have one vehicle right now that we picked up. It was that reused Tahoe that we picked up in Oklahoma. We need to get it plated now because we're running out of time on our temporary. So that's all that is. <coughs> so you got to put regular yeah. tags on it? When they're when they don't have markings on big markings on them, they have to have regular tags, and that has to be approved by y'all. I'll make a motion to approve it. Or get tags. I'll second. Motion to second. All in favor? Go ahead. Motion to approve. That's all I have. Right now. That's everything I have for y'all today. Now you gotta go to work. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I'll second. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, I